afternoon. This is Susan Fenimore. I'm a yoga instructor with the Apex Parks Recreation and Cultural Resources Department. Hope you guys are doing well and staying healthy. And I thank you so much for your beautiful positive comments on my first video. Um, there was a lot of positive response, so I am going to do another short video for you this morning. This is going to be a combination of the upper and lower body. So we are going to work on our shoulder joints and our hip joints and do a little bit of work with our spine today. So go ahead and find a seated position. I'm using a bench today. You can use any type of chair. If you want to use um, a chair that has a back, that's fine. But you want to sit more towards the, the forward third of your chair because that makes your pelvis stay in a position where you can elongate your spine and you can use your core muscles more for support versus lying back on the chair, okay? So go ahead and take your time to get set up and then make sure that your knees are over your ankles and your legs are in a 90 degree angle. And I know you probably cannot see my feet, but that's okay. You'll just really need to see what I'm doing from the knees up. So let's bring our palms together at the heart center and take three deep breaths. You can close your eyes if you like. Take a nice inhale through your nostrils. You can exhale through an open mouth and use the sound of the syllable ha, like this. And take two more deep breaths in through your nose. Really filling up your lungs, exhaling all the air out. And one more time, deep breath in. And exhale all the air out. Very good. Now taking the arms down by your side, and as you inhale, bring your arms up over your head. As you exhale, bring your palms to your heart. This is called the prayer breath. Inhale again, arms up over the head, palms together, exhaling down to the heart. And one more time, deep breath in, opening the heart center, exhaling all the way down. Very good. Now taking the arms down by your side, you're going to start with some shoulder rolls. You're going to take the shoulders forward, up, back, and down. Breathe in as you lift them up. Breathe out as you bring them down. Depress the shoulders. So you want to create some space between your ear and your shoulder. A lot of times when we're under stress, we keep our shoulders really high underneath our earlobes, and that's why we feel a lot of tension and tightness in our upper back and neck. Good, two more. You can still use that ha breath. You can breathe in through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. Good. Now we're going to take our hands back behind our head and interlace the fingers lightly. So your hands are about center of the back of your head, and you're going to imagine that someone's standing behind you and they're gently pulling the elbows back for you. So the elbows are moving back, and you're really feeling that deep stretch in the front of your chest. You feel your shoulder blades moving together. This might feel a little bit uncomfortable because if our shoulders are tight, this is just going to stretch a little bit of that tightness out for us. So we want to breathe into those tight, sore areas. Very good, taking the arms down, palms in your lap, and rest. Feel the sensations in your neck and shoulders. Now taking another deep breath in through your nose. On your exhale, bring your chin down towards your chest. Feel the back of your neck stretching. Roll your head over to one shoulder, just in a semi-circle fashion. We're not going to go all the way around 360. You want to come back down to the chest and then go over to the other shoulder. 
as if you were drawing the bottom half of a large circle with the tip of your nose. Two more. And bring your chin back down to the chest and inhale to bring your head up again. Exhale, relax your shoulders and neck. Very good. Now take one arm behind you. And you're going to take the other hand and place it on the wrist. So it's going to look like this behind you. So one arm is behind the back. The other hand holds the wrist loosely. And just hold that for a few moments. You can feel the pectoralis major muscle stretching a little bit. And now you're going to take the head opposite to the arm that's behind you to stretch the upper trapezius muscle in the side of the neck. And the, it attaches all the way up here to your skull and then all the way down to your shoulder. It goes back in that area. This is another muscle that can get really tight under stress. So we want to really breathe into that now. Imagine all those tight places melting away like hot butter on a pan. On the inhale, bring your head back up to center. Bring that arm back around. Shake it out if you need to. Take the other arm behind you. If you're sitting up tall, by the way, and your abs, your core muscles are engaged. Now take that hand to that wrist. Pull the elbow over a little bit. So you're opening up this part of the shoulder. And then you're going to tilt your ear away from the arm or the shoulder that you're stretching. And take a couple of deep breaths into that upper trapezius muscle on this side. Just letting it go, feel that release in the neck. Very good. Inhale, come back up with the head nice and slow. Bring this arm around and relax. Shake it out. Now taking one arm straight up over the head, close to your ear. Try to reach up as tall as you can, like you're reaching for something on the ceiling. Bring the hand behind you where the fingers are reaching down your back. Take the other fingers and gently press the elbow back. We're stretching the tricep muscles. This also gets into the rotator cuff. Now, while you're holding this stretch, make sure your head is straight and your neck is soft and relaxed. Take a nice deep breath. Now, some people like to do it this way, and that's fine as long as you're not bringing your head down to compensate. You want to still keep your head straight and the neck muscles relaxed. Very good. Let's release that shoulder and shake it out. And inhale, take the other arm up straight up by your ear. As you exhale, bring the fingers down the center of your upper back and take your other fingers and press the elbow. Just straight up to the sky. You could do it this way as well if you'd like. It gets a little deeper into the muscle but keeping the neck relaxed is important. Nice and relaxed and bring it down. Good. Whew. You can feel how your shoulders are loosening up, breaking up some of that stagnant energy there. Let's take a nice inhale, bring the arms up over the head. 
As you exhale, turn your palms out to the side, pull your fingers back to stretch the forearms. Two more times, breathe in. Exhaling out. And then once again, inhale up. And exhaling down. Very good. Now let's try some lower body stretches. So again, we're gonna sit back just a little bit, not all the way back, but you want to feel secure on your chair. And then you're gonna take one of your ankles and place it on your knee. Now this may be too much for you if you've had a hip replacement or you have a hip injury. If that's the case, you're gonna modify this. You're gonna take your other leg straight out on the floor with your toes up. Take this leg and just bring it below the knee. So you're just crossing the leg over. The knee is out a little bit. So that opens a little bit of the hip joint for you, but it doesn't over strain it. Otherwise, you can make sure your other ankle is under the knee, like I demonstrated the first time. Place this ankle on top of the knee. You're going to flex your foot by just bringing your toes back towards your shin. Place one hand lightly on the knee, the other hand on the ankle. Now we're going to sit up really tall. Try to feel both sitting bones equal weighted on your chair. Relax your shoulders and breathe. Feel that breath going into your hip area and opening up this whole glute area, buttock muscle. Two more complete breaths. Bringing, up, bringing the breath all the way up into your chest and letting the exhalation come all the way down. Very good. Release that. And just straighten out your leg. Hold your hands interlaced under the thigh. Point and flex your foot a few times. Circling your foot. Get a nice good ankle rotation. And the other direction. I'm wearing lightweight shoes today. You could do that or you could practice this routine barefooted. Now taking the knee up to towards your chest, you could reach under the thigh if that's easier for you, or reach around on your shin. You just don't want to hold the knee. Come down a little bit, pull it up, keep foot flexed, and release. Changing sides, taking the other ankle on top of the knee. Now again, if you need to modify this, you're going to straighten this leg out, bring the heel on the floor. Pull the toes up and bring the other leg underneath the knee. Not on top of the knee, but a little bit lower. And just sit up really tall. If you don't want to modify, make sure your foot is flat on the floor and just cross that ankle on top. Now, if you cross it all the way over, you're not going to feel as much stretch in the hip. But that's why I have my ankle directly on top of the thigh. And I'm going to hold the ankle and knee and sit up really tall. So I'm breathing into this area of the other hip now, imagining the breath going into those muscles and opening up. Breathing deeply. See if you can let go of a little bit of resistance. Maybe you're fighting against the stretch. See if you can just let go and let the position of your posture, your stretch, do the work for you. Let all the muscles relax. about a beautiful place that you love, maybe the ocean, the mountains, maybe it's your backyard. 
find those beautiful images and sensations using your senses. Imagine you're truly there. Very good, and slowly release. Okay, so we stretch our shoulders and our hips and a little bit of our chest. So now let's do some spine work. So we're gonna do a twist. So we're gonna to turn to one side. So my feet are flat on the floor. My knees are directly over my ankles. I'm sitting up nice and tall. Now I'm gonna place the opposite hand to the opposite leg on the outside of my knee. Now I can use my other hand on the chair seat if I want to. If you have a handle or an arm on your chair, maybe you put your arm there. Whatever works for your body. You don't want your shoulder to be hiked up like that though. So keep your shoulder down, feel your core muscles. Gently pressing against that knee for leverage and then inhale and lengthen your spine. Imagine you have a string attached to the top of your head, pulling you up by the ceiling. On the exhale, you're gonna turn a little bit more and look over your shoulder. You keep your eyes closed if you would like. And take two more breaths. So as you're breathing and twisting at the same time, it's like wringing out a wet rag. You are removing and releasing toxins from your spine. On your inhale, slowly come back. And just face this way for a moment. It looks like Roxy is joining us for a moment. Okay, now we're gonna turn back to the center. Okay, Roxy, I'll calm down. Oops, sorry, babe. All right, so now let's go to the other side. Feet are flat on the floor. We're gonna take that opposite hand and place it on the outside of the knee. Take your other hand back on the seat of the chair. As you inhale, sit up nice and tall, feel your core muscles engaged. On the exhale, you're gently coming into your twist. You don't wanna twist all at one time. You want to gradually go into this, this asana, this posture. Asana is the Sanskrit word for posture in yoga. Now take another inhale and sit up really tall. Feel that string pulling the crown of your head up. Exhale, gently twist just to your comfort level. If this bothers you, you can come out a little bit. If it bothers the neck to turn the head, you don't have to turn the head at all. You can even look straight. And take two more three-part breaths, complete breaths from the belly up to the ribs to the chest. And exhaling all the air out from your chest down through the ribs and then into the belly. You'll feel your belly pulling back as you exhale all your air out. Wringing out that rag, getting those toxins to release from our spine and around all the structures of our spine. This gives you more mobility and flexibility in your spine. On your inhale, slowly come back to center. Stay there for a few moments. <clears throat> and then come back to the center. And just sit for a few moments, bring your hands to your heart center and feel the sensations now on both sides of your body, along your spine. Maybe you feel more energy flow Maybe you feel more relaxed and grounded. Maybe you are tuning into your breath more.
Very good. I encourage you to continue practicing if you would like. And thank you so much for joining me today. I hope to see you again next week. Stay safe and stay well. Namaste.